Hello out there YouTube, welcome to the OK Good Review channel! Guys, today we have another project video. It's been a while since we've had one. Uh, I meant to do more of them, <laughs> but uh, but sometimes I forget and I just do stuff without um, without thinking to record it, guys. Um, depending on what it is. So in this case, guys, we have a laptop battery replacement, guys. So part of the issue with this particular computer, guys, this is the computer of Leo's mom. And guys, so this thing is wanting the battery to be replaced. We had a little message there. So there it is, guys. You can see. And let's click for more information. Offline. So this battery is causing some havoc, guys. Not allowing us to connect. I asked for more information. I don't know if I'm going to get it here. So this, guys, is the Dell Inspiron 15, guys. And it is the 7000 series, guys. And I got to see if I can find the off switch, if there is such a thing on this. This is one of the combination ones. So we're on the side, guys. So let's cut this thing off. Okay, so we had all the lights come off. Now, this particular laptop does not have what normal laptops have. And guys, I happen to have an Acer here that I can just show you. So this one, you slide it, it pops the battery off, put another one in, and you're done. This one does not need a battery. This one, however, does, guys. And you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws here, guys. So, guys, we have our nifty difty, handy dandy, tiny screwdriver set, guys. I bought this for, I want to say, a buck or two. It was one of the best purchases I've ever made in my entire life. Even though the pouch is, you can see it's kind of cracking and falling apart. Guys, I've used this screwdriver probably more than anything else uh, in the last number of years, guys. So, of course, anything with a battery, right? Everything with a battery, guys. All the different toys. You need this thing. Uh, when I was a kid, they didn't have things on the toy ports like that. But now, the idea being that kids can't remove batteries and then swallow them. And a lot of the batteries are a lot tinier. When I was a kid, the smallest thing you would see is mostly double A's. Occasionally, guys, you'd see triple A, but mostly double A's. And I don't know which of these screws in particular, so I'm just going to take them all out. Okay guys, so we have all these loose. Now we should be able to get the lid off somehow. And I think we can just slide our fingers in one of the ports here. Port on each side. We should be able to just lift it off. Whoa! Screws flying around here, guys. Okay. So we want to put the screws back in their holes so they don't wander off. Of course, we will be needing those. We'll set that off to the side. Here's the battery. And it is. A 42WH. So let's take a look here. This is supposed to be the replacement, guys. What we're going to do first is check and make sure this is actually the correct battery. And the size looks pretty good. So we have. So you can see, guys, we have a problem here right out of the gate. These don't match. This doesn't match. This doesn't match. So these things do not match, guys. Uh, so we would not want to use this. Because, as you can see here, we're immediately going to run into a problem. We're not going to be using this one, guys. 
we will instead be telling a certain someone they need, and you can see, so let's just compare this a little bit more. You can see that this, this, this will go here, but this is not matching up either. So major, major issue. This will not stretch all that far. So guys, we need to get a new battery guys. And once we do that, we will resume the video. Okay guys, and we are back with a new battery and let's see if we have the correct one this time. Get that out of the way. Okay, bull wrap. And looks like it's a closer size this time. And let's pop that baby open. Okay, so as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four screws. And so we have 42WH, 42WH, probably it's the same battery. The plug is in the correct place. So we're next guys going to pop the screws off. This, oh actually apparently those two don't have screws. So I guess there's only two screws in this thing. That's interesting. Okay guys, and Okay, two screws, and we need to disconnect this plug. See if we can do it without destroying anything. Okay, so this is the battery that we have had problems with, and it says needs to be replaced. So. You got a little expansion here of the cells. Maybe that's what it is. I don't actually know. Here's the new one. And let's plug it back in first. Okay. Drop those on there. So you can see, guys, these are just dinky, dinky little things. That's all that holds this battery in. Okay guys, so we are going to do now a power test. I'm gonna put the case back on and we're gonna do a power test guys and see how successful we are. We will be right back. Okay guys, moment of truth, case is back on. We got this thing plugged back in and let's open it up and see what happens. So remember guys, we're looking for this area over here to see if we get the message that the battery is bad. We also are going to want to see if it's charging, so on and so forth. So take a look here. So it looks like we've got a all right. I don't know if we can get to the. I don't have the password for this, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to that. But it looked like it was charging. Let's see if we can uh, try to just do that again. Try to restart it, guys, and see what happens with the battery and see if we can get a glimpse at that. Okay, let's see if we can. Well, apparently, I can't look at that, guys, without being logged in. And like I said, I don't have the login. So I'm going to say that we. It, it doesn't look like we have any issue. Let's see what happens if we unplug it. Try to reboot it again while it's unplugged. So I have the plug right here, guys. And it looks like there's a little bit of residual charge here, guys, which is kind of interesting. I'm gonna try to hover over it and see if that will give us a, uh, a battery percentage. But I think this thing is fixed, guys. It's pretty straightforward replacement. There's not, not anything too major there. It seems like the bar has gone up a little bit since last time. We're gonna say that's good. 
I don't think we're gonna get the hover over on it, guys. Okay. Well, so the important thing is to make sure that you match the this WH number, which I am assuming is wattage. Match the voltage, and the, you can see the the whole pattern here is is very specific, guys. It won't fit if we don't have the appropriate hole size. So. Outside of that, guys, pretty for, pretty straightforward. It's not as easy as the other ones, but once you get the cover and so on off, it's not really too much of an issue. So, anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this project video of replacing the battery in this, which is a Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series, guys. If you did enjoy this look, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified of the latest content as opposed to available, guys, including more project videos. The majority of what we do is obviously not project videos, but these are fun to throw in. I do have a couple more after this one on the horizon, guys. I usually don't bank the project videos, so as soon as I get them done, I post them. But I've got a couple more coming down the pipeline, guys, so if you like that kind of stuff, if you find it useful, guys, uh, definitely feel free to uh, hit that blue bell next to the red subscribe button and we will hope that YouTube will notify you when I have new content like that available guys also 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 guys you can follow us on our Twitter feed where I try to manually post what the updates are sometimes I do it in a timely way sometimes I don't sometimes I forget but I try guys YouTube used to do it automatically it will no longer do that unfortunately and we're still Trying to work on a workaround for that, guys, but for now we're doing it manually. Depending on when you watch this, they may have something a little bit more automatic, guys. But we also have Twitter-specific content as well, guys. So if you want to come check that out, guys, definitely, uh, definitely we'd love to have you. Guys, feel free to leave us a comment. Do you like this kind of content? Is this something you're interested in? We, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a handyman per se, but... I guess I'm I'm kind of a, like an amateur fix-it guy. But guys, if you look through the project videos, generally I try to do all this stuff myself, guys. And for the most part, I'm pretty successful. Occasionally, occasionally, guys, we'll find something that's that's beyond me. And at that point, guys, we'll call in an expert. But expert means moolah. And if you can just do this stuff yourself, even if it takes. You know, like striping the spider central stairs, even if it takes, you know, a weekend, then you're still better off than trying to, you know, trying to throw some money at somebody else to come do it, guys. Then it's fun too, guys. You can learn a lot. And sometimes you, you kind of get into things that you didn't know you enjoyed. And there's a certain, certain satisfaction, guys, too, with, with fixing things and having them work correctly from that point. But anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this video. We will see you all hopefully next time. Bye-bye.